Hello, it's Susan Phelps and Judy Atari. And today we are in Parish. We are at Bella Lago, a DR Horton community that Judy has scoped out for us. So give us a scoop. I am um, so. This community has been here at least a year, maybe more, and it's going to have 220 of the preferred series, which are a little bigger homes, 670 of the express home sites. So it's gonna have a total of 1,080 home sites out here. And um, 19 floor plans, up to five bedrooms, and a few of the 60 wide um, lots even have three car garages. So it's lots of, lots of choices. And what's so unusual about this first model that we're gonna show them? It's a multi-generational home. So if you have a, a, a adult child returning from college or a mother-in-law or father-in-law living with you, they'll have their own private space. And I love that. And it, it really is a well-equipped private space and we can't wait to show it to you. So don't go away. Come back after you have subscribed. And liked. And give us a comment when we're finished with this video. We'll answer you if you have any questions or you can call us or you can email us. You can drop us a line. Smoke signals. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I don't know. It's a little windy <laughs> out here. <laughs> and it's raining. <laughs> okay, so don't go away. We'll be right back. So we're about to go view the Camden model. This is the multi-generational model we're so excited about. It's four bedroom, three and a half bath, um, two car garage home. And uh, we'll go in in just a second. And it's under 2787 square feet. Almost missed that. So let's go inside. When we first enter, normally the garage would be to our left. And in here is going to be the first bedroom, which is used as an office right now. It's got a reach in closet. Really nice dual sink, Jack and Jill bath. With the tub. The tub and the tub surround. And then we're coming into the second bedroom. And again, a nice reach in closet. And some baby things. And then we're going to walk in across the hallway here. And it's going to lead to a half bath. So when you have guests over, it's still private. And here, this would lead to the garage. And a little drop zone. And a closet. And then across here is a really nice size utility room. So here they've got it with the racks. Some people would like to finish this with cabinets. You can do that after the fact. They've added a sink. Um, they are mainly doing inventory homes here, like many of our builders. So all of these choices will be made for you, but they do use the most requested and most popular when they make these choices. So here is that multi-generational suite we were so excited about. So here it's got a nice kitchen area, but not a cooktop. And if you do have a, a senior member of your family, that might be the safest way to do this. Nice refrigerator though. Also would be a great movie room. One thing to note, there's a door currently, there's no longer a separate entrance. They have to stop doing that. And then is the nice size, really good size bedroom. full bath and in this series of homes granite is standard tile surround and then we have a really nice size walk-in closet I love this multi-generational floor plan there are um, some that do provide it, but this is the most spacious one I've seen. And even without a cooktop, you can put a microwave up, an air fryer, so that you can, you know, be as private as you want. Definitely, and you could even get a little convection. You can get a nice little convention, convection uh, burner uh, separately, um, and I don't think you need venting or anything, so um, we'll have to check that out for safety. 
So we've covered all of the secondary bedrooms and now we come to this really big dining area. You could put a huge you could. round table here. You know, see eight Lots people of room. or so. Definitely. And then the great room area, the family communal zone. They've added these nice touches on the wall that you can do all kinds of cool stuff in that big space. And then they do have a covered patio area. Um, I believe it would be up to you to screen in. Um, but they're nice size. So right off the great room is this incredibly also spacious kitchen. Oh, here, <laughs> I found a table. Here they've <laughs> added uh, bar stools. A nice kind of low profile. It, it doesn't take up too much space. But they've got this nice huge island. The refrigerator uh, with the Premier Series the premium series, I'm sorry. 42-inch um, cabinets, 42-inch staggered cabinets are standard, as is the granite. And another great corner pantry. Uh, the appliances that come in the uh, premium series are the range, the microwave, and the dishwasher. And the flooring is generally gonna be the 18 by 18 inch tile and carpeting in the bedrooms. Oh, excuse me. And then we have the cafe dining area. And here you can have a round, a square, or an oblong table too. <laughs> so right off of the kitchen is the primary suite. So again, another spacious room, great natural light coming in. Big windows. Big, big windows. Well, maybe not so big, but three in a row, that's a lot of light. Yep. And then they've added, um, the tray ceiling. And again, these are going to be inventory homes, so they're going to pretty much choose what's going on in them. Nice big garden tub, as well as a walk-in shower. Dual vanity, again with the granite. They kept the cabinets consistent throughout, a little continuity there. The little washer closet. Again, a much needed linen closet. And then the master walk-in closet, which wraps around back here. So come back here. Oh. So yeah, oh. a little bit more space than you expect when yes. you come in. And I believe this is the standard wire shell, um, hanging stuff, but you can do all kinds of great stuff in this closet. So again, we're out here at Bella Lago in Parish by Deer Horton, and we're gonna look at one of their Express Series models, and this is the Cali. One of the differences between this and the other series is this generally is gonna have an eight foot ceiling, and the premium is gonna have nine foot four ceilings. But they still have a nice big tall door. As we come in, we're gonna have the two secondary bedrooms here. Again, this one is a 1,828 square feet, four bedroom, two bath, two car garage. So it's got a nice little closet here. It's more of a reach in. It's got a full bath with a single sink. And another secondary bedroom with another reach-in closet. And some really fun decor in here. So as we um, continue down the entrance, we have this door would take you to your garage. It's really hot, so I'm not going in there. And then we have an additional bedroom that they have set up like a den. But it does have a closet, so it does qualify as bedroom. Closet and window. It's a nice alternative use of space. You could even do a sleeper sofa in here for guests and still have a desk set up. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we have a utility room kind of right in the center of the house, convenient to all the bedrooms. Judy, I'm going to start calling you Grace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Okay, so now we're in our kitchen, and 
our kitchen standard is granite. Um, 36 inch cabinets are standard. And in the Express series, according to the literature we have, they come with a microwave, a range, dishwasher, refrigerator is included, as is washer and dryer. Well, that's pretty exciting. That's a good package. And then it's got a nice corner pantry as well. And one thing I wanted to mention, like we have in some other builders, they are very energy efficient. They've got a lot of the same features as far as insulation, low E windows, things like that. And then we've got a nice little dining area here with the two sliders off to the patio area. So the lanai. And a great room. They've done a nice job using 1800 square feet to put in four bedrooms. And then the primary suite. Dual vanities, a walk-in shower. They've added an extra closet here, kind of oh. a bonus closet, where maybe sometimes they would put a tub, but they've used that space for an extra closet. I see. And then a large walk-in closet. So we are in where are we, Judy? We are in Belo Lago in Paris, Florida. No, I mean the, the model. Oh, the county. The, the county, county, right. We did the Camden for you because we were so excited about that mother-in-law suite. And then we came over to the county to show you just one of the Express, and they have so many. As with D.R. Horton, though, their series are, um, they offer different standards some of those are cabinet heights, countertops, and and the then the appliance package, appliance package right? And the landscaping that they do different things at different levels. Okay, so it's really important that you spend a little time getting to know we, what each of those homes provide. But Dr. Horton, as usual, has something for everyone. Yeah, they do a lot of choices, and they've got a lot of homes in progress on the quick move-in list. So there's a ton of choices out here. Okay. So, um, when I was out here over the weekend visiting with our sales team here, um, I noticed that it's a great uh, place for people with kids, um, or not kids, but there was a lot of kids just having a ball together. And they have a pool, a clubhouse with a fitness center, an outdoor kitchen, a tot lot, and an open play field. So you know, you see the kids playing football, soccer or whatever, yeah. you know, just roaming around, burning off that energy in a little gazebo. Um, their monthly HOA, I think is fairly reasonable. Um, it, it depends on your lot size. So they have 40, 50 and 60 foot wide lots here. So your HOA is gonna range from um, just under $90 to uh, 122. And um, your annual CDD is also gonna be flexible based on lot size. And that goes from 1468 to 1870 and that's the portion that's rolled into your property tax bill. so a year so you yeah. might only be paying to somewhere around two hundred dollars yeah depending on uh -huh. yeah and they've got some lot. really nice looking amenities they're, they're they look fun um and um do you want to talk about the incentives here the incentives financing help financing help up to ten thousand um, dollars and so it, with many builders, it kind of depends on the, the house and the lot and different sure. details. Um, but yeah, so up to $10,000 towards closing costs. So that's pretty darn good. It is good. What else have we got to share? Um, not much else. They, they've got a ton of quick move-ins or things in progress. And like you said, a lot. they've got two-story homes. I've got one-story homes. And a lot, a lot of opportunities out here. Well, I follow up Judy here. And I was surprised how close in it really is to what's going to happen in Parish, which, you know, is the the, the, the village, center, village center, right? The other things, the hospital, it's not too far from the new hospital. Um, so if you're a medical worker and you're eyeing Parish, this might be a great place to be located. Right. And uh, it's still relatively close to, uh, it's 
not far from the end of Moccasin Wallow, so you can get to Ice 275 and 75 fairly quickly. Which takes you to Tampa, St. Pete, Pete, or Sarasota. south to Bradenton and Sarasota. Yeah. So it's good location, folks. If you're in the market to move in soon, do we have any uh, finish dates? I guess without that long list, the finish yeah. dates probably run anywhere from two to three months from now to, yeah. to the end of the year, maybe into the spring. Yeah. It's a very lengthy list. Yeah. Which is yeah. exciting. Yeah. Yeah. So. so something for everyone. Until the next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.